you and say, look, you learn more from your failures than from your successes. Specifically, in some ways, this has some resonance with I think we're on. And I think we're going to improvise our theme song, because I don't think it's going to play. <laughs> Are these mics even working? I think they are. Yes. Hi. So Hi. on stage with me, uh, thank you so much for having us. I've got Sydney, Dana, Jody, Ronnie. My name is Brett. And we are Bake This, Munich's English Improv Group. Thank you. So today we're going to perform some improvised theater for you, which means what you see here has not been scripted. We haven't planned very much just what we're games we're going to play. The stories that come out of it, we have no idea what's coming, and you'll probably never see it again. What we bring to the stage is our own perspectives, our own experiences, our own cultures. We use all of that to inspire each other and inspire ourselves, and we use your suggestions to help inspire us as well. By a little show of hands, can anyone um, put your hand up if you've ever seen improv or been to an impro show before? Okay. About half and half here. Excellent, excellent. So to get us started, we are going to be asking you for some suggestions in the next, for the next uh, 17 minutes. So I'm going to warm you up a little bit. I'm going to ask you to do something really easy. On the count of three, I'm going to ask you just to say your name out loud. All right? One, two, three. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Okay. Um, on the count of three, can you say the city in which you were born? One, two, three. Excellent. Um, These guys okay. are good, Brett. They're good. They're yeah. good. Got lots of suggestions. Uh, on the count of three, I want you to say um, a, a different country that you have lived in. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the opposite, whatever comes to mind. Uh, the sun. The moon. Cat. Did I hear cat? <laughs> yes. Excellent. It's all about inspiration, inspiration. Um, night. Day. Day. Daytime. Um, <clears throat> uh, the color red. Green. Blue, green. Yeah. Uh, an apple. Orange. Wow, it's funny how orange. there really are opposites of fruits. <laughs> uh, let's go with something totally abstract. What is the opposite of a chair? Table. Table. Circle. <laughs> Different things coming out there. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, super. For our first game, we are going to play something that's called Emotional Choir. So I'm going to ask from this group here, can you tell me a positive emotion? Love? I heard love. Okay. <clears throat> Dana, love, love, great. From this side, can I ask for a negative emotion? Anger, anger. Uh, Sydney, you are anger. You've got love, anger. Uh, from the middle here, can I ask you for an animal? A dog. I heard dog first, excellent. Ronnie, dog. And from all of you, here's the challenging one. Can you tell me a word or a phrase, something from today's TED Talks that has really stuck with you? It can be a sentence. It can be a theme. I heard something right in here. What did I hear in here? F facets. Facets. Let's explain on facets. Expand on facets. Curiosity. Curiosity. Facets. Curiosity. Jody. Okay, I would like to introduce to you now the Bake This Choir. <clears throat> Can I ask you to turn a little bit towards me, please? Thank you. Dogs are beautiful, they're lively, they're lively. 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 Dogs are I wonder about the other side. I wonder about the other side. I hate you, 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 I hate you. I hate you, 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 I
I hate you, 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 I hate I hate you, 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 I wonder about the other side. I wonder about the other side. Dogs are beautiful, they're lively, they're lively. Dogs are beautiful, they're lively, they're lively. Thank you. All right, so uh, can I get a suggestion for a hobby, something you do on the weekend? Skiing, I heard skiing. Yes, skiing, okay. Skiing is our suggestion. Skiing. We are going to play a game called Switch Change. This is played by all four people, but there are only two characters. So can we get two people in the front, two people in the back? All right, so here we have Ronnie and Jody. Um, Ronnie will play one character. Jody will play another character, but then I might yell, switch! Now, Jody is playing Ronnie's character, and Ronnie is playing Jody's character. We're seeing different <laughs> facets of these characters. It's very exciting. All right, then if I might yell, change! Then suddenly, Brett is playing the character that used to be Ronnie's, and Donna is playing the character that used to be Jody's. So I might yell, switch again! And then I'll yell, change! And then I'll yell, switch again! And... Now we are back to where we started. So we have our suggestion. Our suggestion is skiing. And uh, here we go with switch change. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful here. I've never been to such a lovely place. Daniela, you're ruining my experience with the skiing simulator. Oh, Ted, you're doing such a lovely job. You look so sexy when you fake it. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Six points. Switch. Seven points. Whoa, look at me go. I'm going to win the championship. Um, sweetie, do you think it's good to go maybe to level two? You've been practicing level one for, you know, the last oh, yeah. year or so. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But, you know, I... I Change! I'll go to level three, if that will impress you. Oh, level three? Wow, you're such a risk taker. Ready, set, go! Ah! Switch! Ah! Switch! Ah! Switch! That's just lovely to see you fall. Tell me to go to level three. I wanted to see you challenge yourself. Switch. Well, challenge myself I did, and now look at me, I'm... You know what? I'm back to level one. Yes, but I feel like you've done something really meaningful, and it, it's, it means so much to me. Change. The fact that you put yourself in danger... Yeah. ...for, for our relationship... Yeah. It's just, it's, um, it's a side of you I've never seen before. Oh, really? Switch! Well. Oh, honey, oh, you take it off so fast. Well, I Switch! I'm super fast at most things I do. Switch! <laughs> and I've been doing fake things for a year now, so... I gain confidence in that, but you know what I'm missing? What? Non-fake reality. Non-fake reality? Yeah. You mean like reality? Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is not fake. Change. Yeah, reality. Wait, 
Well, honey, I could give you a piece of reality. Switch! <laughs> Switch! 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 <laughs> Let's go for some reality. All right, sweetheart, let's do it. And scene. <laughs> Great. For our next piece, we're going to see a presentation uh, like the sum that we just saw today. And this presentation is going to be a person telling us about a personal experience an important event in somebody's life. Can I hear an offer of a, an event, a, a personal event in somebody's life? Marriage. Falling in love and marriage. Is this the same? Hmm. All right, let's say the, the, the falling in love. So love from first sight, maybe. And now I would like to have a daily object, something that you might find in a cl your closet, which has nothing to do with the suggestion that we've heard. A vacuum cleaner, I love it. All right. Our offers are a vacuum cleaner and falling a in love. A vacu vacuum what cleaner? Vac a Hoover. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. What, vacuum cleaner? Mm -hmm. A vacuum cleaner okay. and falling in love. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy to host Miss uh, Lemon Juice today with us. Yes, well. It's just wonderful that you could make it here. It's my pleasure to yes. be here. I'm, I'm here to talk to you about something very important in my Can life. Let go of my oh, hand. Okay, Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, what the time that I fell in love. Um, now, I've brought a slideshow with me because this is TED, Wonderful. you know, and we bring slideshows. So, um, here, we'll just start all right off with the first slide. Well, so here you can see, I should tell you right off the bat, I'm from a very strange culture. Um, I'm from San Francisco. Oh. <laughs> And we have very unique rituals around courtship. So you can see these two people here are performing the dance of the courtship that we do in San Francisco. And that's me in the middle there. Um, and you'll see what happens to me in the next slide. It's a little embarrassing. Click. Yes, well, you can tell that uh, my, uh, my friend here, uh, who is aiding in the courtship, is actually poking a pimple on my back. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and the other dancer has fallen over because he is so disgusted by this. Click. Now, um, as you can see, my, uh, my brother is actually involved with the courtship. We involve our families in very inappropriate ways. Oh, that's very, is this usual for the San Francisco culture? It's extremely normal, you know? Mm -hmm. we, we include our families in all sorts of places, you know? Uh, when it, we, we require company when we go to the bathroom. I see it's um, a very special moment between you and your brother. Can you maybe tell us what's, what do we see there? Oh, well, he is showing me uh, how he provided courtship for his, for his uh, wife, and that's me um, asking him to stop, please, because he's being too graphic. Mm -hmm. All right, now actually, oh, I have a, such a special treat for you in the next slide. I can actually show you the courtship dance that we do. We would love that. It's really wonderful. Um, so unfortunately, it is a silent movie. Um, there is no uh, sound recording allowed, uh, but I think you'll really enjoy it. Click. Now, see, this is showing all of the different sides of our bodies uh, to our potential mates in San Francisco. Um, this is um, the hippie dance as an homage to our native roots. What do we see right now? Well, now we are seeing the display of the sex organs. <laughs> that is important. And it's very important in our culture. And I heard that you San Franciscans have a special use to the vacuum cleaner for courtship? Oh, we do actually. Um, as you can see here, they are in fact vacuuming. It is a symbol of cleaning our souls and, and our, our body parts uh, for the mating rituals. Um, and and <laughs> that's the soul vacuuming that's going on right there. Now, if, if I can just go back a couple of slides. It's I want to so go back uh, two slides. Tears to my eyes. Yeah. So click, click. All right. So I know this, this is hideously embarrassing for me, but I think it's very important to notice um, exactly what's going on with um, my courtship, the guy I was courting. Mm -hmm. um, so the over female there. court the male in your culture. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're very progressive that way. Interesting. We're proud of ourselves for that. Um, he is reaching towards my breasts. 
Um, and it's a symbol that he is very interested. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna move on past the, uh, yes. the video to the next slide. Click, click. <laughs> now, I think it's obvious what this is depicting. You conquered him. I, of course. You know, and, and you know, it's, it's the act. What about your brother then? Is he still watching? Yes, well, again, family watches in very inappropriate ways sometimes mm -hmm. in our culture. Mm -hmm. So, it, click. Now, here we are solidifying our bond through uh, blood and the use of hallucinogens. <laughs> and now here's on to the final slide. I'm so sorry, like, I, I wish that I had brought the the full mating cycle, but we had to skip forward a little bit, and so here's what you'll see in the very end of this uh, ritual. Click. Oh, a baby. Yes. That's well, wonderful. There is a baby, and we are all a happy, pe happy people together. We have fallen in love with each other, and this is really how we think it should be done all over the world, you know, all with family. Yeah, with family involved, all three of us together, uh, including this baby who was not ours. It's a symbolic <laughs> baby. That's um, wonderful. Your culture is very interesting. I want to thank you so very much for coming and for bringing your beautiful slideshow here. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. By far our fastest show and shortest show ever. Thank you very much for having us. We are Bake This. We perform regularly around Munich, so we hope to see you at one of our shows. Thanks for having us. Thank you. <laughs>